Hi, Steve Gale here. In this video, I'm going to create a um, an agent policy for um, a Linux server, and I'm going to deploy it to a um, Linux uh, server sitting in DMZ. So I'm going to go create agent policy, and I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call it an Linux server policy, and collect logs and metrics. Look at the advanced options. Agent monitoring, collect the inactivity timeout. Fleet server, we'll use the current fleet server. Um, output for integrations, yeah, default. Output for agent monitoring. Um, yep, yeah, default. Yeah, we'll just, and um, yep, yeah, we'll just use host name there. And, um, and create the agent policy. So that'll go ahead and create the agent policy. And um, once we've created the agent policy, we want to um, um, add the um, add, add the hosts, add the Linux host. We'll just let that run. Okay, so we've got our Linux server policy. And um, so now what we want to do is we want to uh, add an agent. So let's let's add the agent. And um, so we've got, we'll just use the, um, the enrollment token and we'll enroll in fleet. And, um, and then we want to install the Elastic Agent on our host. So we can use the, um, the, uh, the Linux tar um, or the dev, but we'll, let's use the Linux tar. So what we'll do is, um, We'll just copy this and uh, we'll flip over to um, our Linux box, just over here. So I'll just sign in. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to um, put this into a, um, into a file. So I'll just say, um, and I'll call this um, um, basic agent um, script dot sh and let's place that in and I reckon I'm going to it's wondering if I need the minus minus insecure on here, but let's just um, let's just control X and uh, save that away. Now, what I'm not I'm not going to run this as a shell script, but what I'll do is um, I'll just um, execute it line by line so we can see it actually functioning. So um, let's bring up um, our script. And I'll just open up a, um, a new terminal session over here. And I'll just execute this one line at a time. Yep. Missed, missed some of it. Don't like this full screen. Make this a bit bigger and we always place it in there. I missed the C on curl, did I? Yep, so let's put it back in. Ah. Just install curl.
Okay, so let's try again. And we'll just download the um, the agent. It'll take a while. You can see here we've got the um, percentage over here, so it's 3% done. So I'll just pause this until it's um, completed the download. Okay, it's just about finished now, 98, 99. And it's done. So now what we want to do is we want to extract that file. So we'll copy it here. And we'll do we'll extract that um, that GZ file into this directory, Elastic Agent 882 Linux X64, X86-64. So we'll let that run. It's extracting all the files. And it's done. OK. So notice that there's this Elastic Agent YAML file. So there's a couple of YAML files for configuration, but we don't, we shouldn't need to touch those. So let's change directory to that um, directory that's been created, that this is unzipped into. Oops, missed the C on the CD. Okay, so now we're going to run this pseudo elastic agent install and it's going to it's going to um, try and connect to Kali Purple on port A220 using the Aroma token that's here. Here we go. I'll copy that. And let's see if we can uh, install the Elastic Agent. And I'll say yes to that. And here we may need to use the minus minus insecure option, but we'll see how we go. Okay, yeah, so so we've got a we've got some errors. So the reason we've got the errors is because we didn't use the minus minus insecure option. You can see here, fail to enroll and execute fleet service certificate signed by unknown authority. So all we'll do is we'll just paste that again and we'll just add minus minus ins insecure on the end. And try it this time and see how we go. Okay, so this is looking pretty promising now. You can see we've managed to send some data to um, to our fleet server, our fleet agent, and the Elastic Agent's been successfully installed. So if we go back to our other VM now, and you can see here we've got agent enrollment confirmation, incoming data confirmed. So that's um, shown that we've successfully managed to install that um, that agent. So that's great news. So let's um, close this off and uh, we'll do a refresh on it here. And here you can see we've got, um, got our agent installed. So if we um, click on our agent here, it says that our our agent is healthy. Our host name is i40-dmz, and it's using 0.12 of CPU and um, and this much memory. So we should be extracting logs from that now. So what we can do is we know that our host is i40-dmz. So let's just click on here, and um, you can see some information about the agent details. Platform is Ubuntu. Um, if we look at some logs. So this is logging, this is agent logging. So this is saying it's healthy. So it looks good. So let's go and have a look um, in our discover. So let's go to discover and see if we can see some logs that are coming in from our, um, from our Linux server. I'll do a refresh on this. 
Now I've got a I've got a, a filter on here, so I'm just I'm filtering for my PF sense, open sense firewall. So I'll just clear that log, clear that um, filter, and uh, run an update. It's not going to show me anything with the filter in there. And um, let's have a look and see if we can find the list for PF sense, PF sense. Mustic agent, what's this one? 1619. Just uh, do a refresh and grab the most recent one. See if I can find a relevant one. Okay, so what I've done is I've just gone to um, one of the PF Sense logs and I've just filtered out that. So I'm not data stream data set is PF Sense log, and we'll have a look and see what we've got here. So we're after one from um, so we've got agent name, agent type, file boot. We're after one from the um, from the Linux server. Agent name. Oh, here we go. Here's one here. Let's have a look at this one. So you can see here we've got agent name I40 DMZ. So let's um, put that into our filter. So we'll filter for agent name I40 DMZ. So you can see here these are all the logs coming back from our... Um, from our i40 DMZ Linux server, that's our um, our server running in the um, in the DMZ. So we're successfully being able to um, um, extract logs and metrics. So you can see this one's a metrics HTTP metrics, um, beat metrics. So we're getting logs and metrics from our um, DMZ server into um, our um, our scene. So thanks very much for watching.